This morning, the search for Brian Laundry may be over. The FBI now waiting for confirmation after suspected human remains were found in a park near some personal belongings belonging to Laundry. Late last night, the Laundry family attorney said the probability is strong that it's Brian's remains. CBS 4's Laura Podesta reports. Investigators are working to identify human remains discovered during the search for Brian Laundry. They were found yesterday in a wildlife preserve south of Tampa, along with his notebook and backpack. These items were found in an area that up until recently have been underwater. Laundry was reported missing over a month ago. The 23-year-old is a person of interest in the death of his fiance Gabby Petito, whose body was discovered in Wyoming. She and Laundrie had spent the summer on a cross-country drive, but he returned to Florida alone in September. Our evidence response team is on scene using all available forensic resources to process the area. It's likely the team will be on scene for several days. Laundrie's parents joined the manhunt on Wednesday morning. Their attorney says they advised police to search a trail that their son used for hikes. The remains were found there in a frequently flooded swampland known to be teeming with alligators. If we can get DNA, they'll use DNA. But you'd be able to turn around within 24 to 48 hours with a quick test. For weeks, protesters have gathered at the laundry home, urging them to cooperate with authorities. Anything that provides answers for Gabby Petito and provides justice for Gabby Petito, I am all for. A $30,000 reward for information leading to laundry is still posted. The FBI stressed that it has yet to ID the remains. Laura Podesta, CBS News. Now, last month, a grand jury in Wyoming indicted laundry on using charges of another person's debit card without authorization. However, they did not say who the card belonged to.